eyes for Queen Elizabeth Mourners Saturday in London. The Queen's son, King Charles III, and the heir to the throne, Prince William, unexpectedly coming out to greet well-wishers in line to pay their final respects, many of them waiting for well over 12 hours overnight in cold temperatures. It was cold. <laughs> I nearly passed out because it was really cold. All this for a chance to get inside Westminster Hall, where the Queen is lying in state for just two more days. She did a lot of things for this country, so it was only right for me to come and pay the respect. That's the only thing I could do. Georgina and her mother overcome with emotion after finally seeing the Queen's coffin. It was just amazing. I thought it was worth the 14 hours, the pain to walk all the way. Some of the mourners inside Westminster Hall Saturday also getting a chance to watch the changing of the guard. The Queen's grandchildren, including Prince William and Prince Harry, holding a 15-minute vigil by the Queen's coffin. Officials have begun warning those hoping to come bid farewell to the Queen that the line will close before the funeral Monday to allow everyone already in queue to pay their final respect. And still days from the funeral on Monday, some of these people started camping out since Friday night in order to get a front row seat. And we've got two more nights and here we are in our chairs with our sleeping bags and and Paddy Bear. Inside Buckingham Palace, the King has begun receiving foreign heads of state as they arrive for the funeral. President Biden arriving Saturday afternoon. The world leaders invited to a state reception Sunday at the palace with working members of the royal family, meaning Prince Andrew, his daughters, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not be there. Faith Abube, ABC News, London.